Alright, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Trains project. We are building an underwater station. So I guess the sequence we should go with is build the the outside envelope and make that water tight. And then I can demolish the interior envelope and decorate the inside. And as long as I'm careful not to punch any holes in the envelope, I will avoid flooding the interior. That's the plan. Alright, good. Good plan. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. So I guess uh, exterior envelope first. Mm. We want holes at the top, right? Actually, let me go back down. Where do we want these holes? And do I just put them in randomly? Let me like Google an image of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Images. Ah, holes, I see. Like, there's like bubbles. I mean, it's not very... Not very inspiring. Hmm. All right, so holes. I guess I kind of want a big one over the entrance. So let's say... How close to the edge can I have this? Big one over the entrance. And this is actually gonna just be a tube. In fact, all of these are gonna be tubes all the way up to the surface. and then sponge this out. And then glass, I mean, it makes the most sense for the glass to be on the outside. Because if you, I was gonna put the glass on the inside here, but then when it rains, not that it, you know, works in Minecraft, but in the real world, when it rains, all the water would just pool in the in the in the pool here if I put glass at that level. So it makes the most sense to put the glass above and in a dome. Right? Maybe not quite like that. One, two, one, two. That's one, two, one, two, oops, up to there. Up to there. Like that. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. So that, 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 that. That, that, and that. I think it's kind of not right, but oh well. I think there should be another block at the corners there. We go underneath. All right. Uh, let me go a little closer. Oh, this is closed off too. <laughs> well, you know... Hold on, let me... 
bricks through there, maybe put a door. I think there should be glass on those corners. Alright, sweet. So that's the plan. That's the plan. The plan is to put a bunch of these bubbles things and uh, irregular. So hmm, maybe I uh, want one bigger than that. In fact, there's no need to be timid about this. Um, I think it shouldn't get any bigger than this. So this is as big as it gets. that out and uh, another glass bubble here the question is do I want to use the same material all the time one two three one two three all right that looks good That actually goes underneath, right? Hmm, awkward. One, two, three. Like that. Right. Two, two. There. All right, and then the corners. What's going on? That and that. Oops. That and that. And then there. And then that. And then there. So 
that's a second bubble there. Let's take a look at it from the inside. The thing is that big one is over the circuitry, so it's not really that useful. Um, I'm going to want to put lighting in the corners. And like probably like a ring of light around the skylight as well. All right, so let's just put a whole bunch of other bubbles in here. Maybe a small one in the corner. What is the size of this? How small can I make this? Don't actually want it that small. Let's do that. Want it relatively evenly distributed. change my mind and put it one block closer that way because <laughs> it's probably like two blocks closer that way because there's not enough space for another one in between here <laughs> okay, maybe there's like not that much space for that many of them well no maybe I just put one there and not worry about it Probably bigger, right? Ah, uh, oops. What did I do? Um, yeah. And then, like, just stick a big one here, and then we're done with the ceiling part. Mm, yep. Well, maybe two. Let's put like two more. So let's stick like a. five diameter here. And then another like small one. There, let's do that. Ah, oh, maybe another small one here. Or 
maybe we don't need that many. I guess we don't really need that many. Especially since this is mostly circuitry space. Did I have it? I also had it there. Oops. Great. So there's the uh, inside of this. Let me also put some lights. Uh, oops. Try not to break everything. I should go for the whole circle. Like that. So the plan is to have like circles of lights under the skylight. Which, I mean, in the game it doesn't matter that much. In the real world, like, skylights and sunlight is much, 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 much brighter than any artificial lighting. I don't know if you realize how bright the sun is, <laughs> but the sun is uh, very bright. Much brighter than any artificial lighting. So, you know, at night time, there'll be a ring of, you know, artificial lights around a black hole because the, like, at night it'll be the sky. At, in daytime, you wouldn't even see the lights because it would just be completely drowned out by the skylight behind. Which in Minecraft, the skylight is 15 and then the lights are 15 and so it's like this, this is the same brightness as that, which is kind of weird. Because in the real world, on that, is much much brighter than this. Anyway, no big deal. No big deal until we get high dynamic range lighting and ray tracing in Minecraft. Hey Franswell, how's things? 